Stadium Lumberjacks leading at 41-17 here over Tarleton State. Trey Self from three yards out a moment ago, capping a five-play, 47-yard drive. As again, the Jacks take 235 off the clock. And Self with his second rushing touchdown of the night. Two through the air, four total for him. Xavier Gibson with a big night. In fact, there have just been there have been a bunch of guys with a big night tonight. Reed, 19 carries, 137 yards. Mo Wedman, six catches, 108 yards. Gibson, four catches, 93 yards, and the 84-yard putt return. And then Xavier also with two carries for 31 yards on the speed sweep. And uh, Jarrell Wembley, 18 carries for a total of 61 yards as well. Astros and Mariners go to the top of the 18. Campos to kick it off now. A little pooch kick, mishandled at the 13. Return it outside the 20, 25, and drops at the 29 yard line. It goes Charlton State. So Brown again. Something wrong with him on his last kickoff. So Campos handles it that time. And Tarleton, you know, they were down 17 a moment ago and they kind of started trying to mix it up and run the ball, so we'll see what they do here. Yeah, I don't know if they're just kind of accepting the team or what, but I'll, they were both really surprised when they were running the ball, not really you know, trying to go hurry up or anything like that. And that last one, so if they weren't doing anything, I have a hard time believing that they're just going to jump ship and go yeah. through it. Wow. 31 rushes for 89 yards tonight for Tarleton. They trail now 41-17, and they hand it off. Right side, breaking it out, back inside the 35, and out to about the 38-yard line goes Mookie Douglas. A gain of nine, Ooh, second down and one. And you know, another thing, Kenny, they haven't had a great success in the air either. They've thrown two interceptions. He's broken up a lot of their passes. They haven't been able to sniff the ball. Yeah. It's not the way that they want to do I mean, we're kind of dictating what they do. Second and one, and they will hand it again to Douglas. Douglas outside, has the first down, still on his feet to the 45-yard line. And right now, the Jack's content to let him run it. They'll stop the clock for a moment to move the chains. 3-0-2 left on the play tonight. SFA up 41-17. And we've got an injury timeout as the Texans have a man down. So they come out to check on him. Far side of the field in front of the Tarleton State bench. And it's uh, one of their offensive linemen. He's sitting up and uh, we'll see. And again, they're... Anytime they reach down and grab a player's toes and start pulling them back, typically, I'm no trainer. Certainly not a Hall of Famer like Sandy Miller, but anytime they start stretching out, you know, you grab your toes and pull them backwards, looks to me to be a half right? Well, you know, you're grabbing toes great because I can't do it. I'm still ain't. So, one of us has to touch it. No, I can barely put my own socks on. <laughs> so, the injured player is up. Oh, we got a score. Houston has scored a run. As uh, Pena, who was 0 for 7 tonight, has just left the yard. Astros lead 1 to nothing in the top of the 18. In the words of Mike Leach, a run breaks this game <laughs> wide open. First and 10 here, Lumber, er, Tarleton with a first down at the 45-yard line. Allen handoff to Douglas again, coming right. Jack stack it up, slow it down, and we'll hold it to a minimal game, maybe a yard. Jermaine Brown on the top. For Mookie okay. Douglas, Jermaine Brown there for the Lumberjacks, second down and nine. And again, we're just we're doing the exact same thing as we have in the game of pressure. The different sides, we're going three down, four down, kind of mixing that up a little bit. And mostly mixing up like, who we're playing in that defensive line. It's really giving more control. So second down and 10 now. There was actually no game there. Allen looks things over. Four-man front for the Lumberjacks. They bring four. Step up, and Allen steps back. 
going to the post to his big receiver, reaches up with a right hand and makes a one-handed grab down at the NCAA 35-yard line, and then kind of stands over Jeremiah Walker. And they're all walking back that way, and probably going to be a hole. So Vidal Jones now the official talking with the center official. So they go to where the uh, ball was spotted and move it back 15 yards. It'll bring it back to the 43 yard line. So it ends up being first and 10. Tarleton now at the SFA 43 yard line. And Blake Haynes, their starting right guard out of, or right tackle out of Mayfield, comes off the field. He was the one responsible for that unsportsmanlike conduct thing. Yeah, I think he might have been blocking DJ and they just was late after the whistle and he kind of throws him around. First and 10, Allen again, handoff inside. Penalty flags fly on that one. Run in the middle for about five. As that was Rosemond on the carry. So they have 15 here, and that puts the ball down inside the 25 yard line. At the 24, first and 10, Toronto State. A minute 54 left. Sean Williams, guilty of the uh, face mask there. Sixth penalty of the night against the Lumberjacks. And that one was just kind of in the pile. It wasn't anything malicious. Or, you know. Rosemond takes the handoff coming right. Hit after a four-yard gain, and that was Kamari Thompson in there the tackle. Right and they'll bring up second down here for Tarleton. And they resigned themselves to, to, to faith here tonight in Aguilar. Just a minute 35 left, and they're in no particular hurry. Surprise, we had hurt Willie. Yeah, yeah. Screen it right side, out to Rosemont, he gets a block, and pushed out of bounds at about the 16 yard line, short of the first down. Jacks are going to win this one 41 17, or they're going to win it. Final score yet to be determined 41 17 right now. Lumberjacks up over Tarleton State. They'll be in Utah next week against Southern Utah, which dropped one tonight. Abilene Christian beat them in, uh, I think he was in Abilene yeah. today. Second down here and three. And inside again, Rosemont with a first down carry down to about the 13 yard line. They're gonna actually mark him dead at the 14, or mark him down at the 14. First and 10, Tarleton State with a minute 13 left. Hey, man. The referee last week didn't want any music being played. This one here doesn't say anything. He likes music. That's, I, I don't mean either. You get a message to him. Allen to the end zone, underthrown, jump ball, and touchdown Tarleton State. Cooper, and that looked like a shot in the What the? For the touchdown. Wow. Six, two, six, two, six. Charles Dennings gets up going. Uh, that's the still going to win. You know, I usually just don't fall down like that. Yeah. Wow. So Tarleton with a touchdown. It's a little window dressing here with 57 seconds left in the ball game. On to the extra point is Guzman, as his kick is up and through. And so, 57 seconds left, 41 24. The Lumberjacks lead it over Tarleton State. And Bo Allen. Not good. Even if they're not turning the lights out of that. 
and then turn around and right on. Two yards, two minutes, 40 seconds off the clock that time. Allen Cooper, 13 yards out. And it is 41 to 24. Still in the top of the 18th in Seattle. Houston leads it one to nothing now. Alex Bregman at the plate with one out and the base is empty. Or actually, uh, Bregman's at first base. I didn't dream that we would, uh, and the Astro game started, what, about 3 o'clock? Yeah. We finish this up and actually get to watch the end of the Astros game. Lumberjacks lining up here, expecting an onside kick attempt from Tarleton State. Tarleton nine plays, 72 yards, two minutes, 40 seconds off the clock. Bo Allen with his second touchdown through the air tonight. The first one made it 10 to seven. Gave them their first lead of the night, but that came with 10.36 left in the first half. As this kick high, spinning kick into the end zone for the touchback. And the Lumberjacks will start out 15 10 and move the 25 yard line. Carlton was still three timeouts. You wouldn't think that they would take them. If they don't, Jacks will just have to kneel it twice and it'll be over. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine that the way they called that last series of not going to turn the ball away, but if they're going to use any timeouts here at 57 yards. Jacks will line up the victory formation and kneel it. Try to kick, get the uh, clock running. They'll have to do it twice. But a nice win tonight here for the Lumberjacks. Gave up a ton of yards last week to Abilene Christian, mostly in the second half. But tonight, the offense, after a, kind of a sputtering start, hurt both these offenses. They only had 37 yards each in the first quarter. And there is winning. So the Jacks will kneel it one more time. Clock running with 33 seconds left, and that'll do it. Trey Sell takes the knee, and the Lumberjacks are going to go to four and three on the year, one and zero oh in Western Athletic Conference play. Tarleton State evens their record at one and one in whack action and falls to four and two on the year. We are back at Homer Price to wrap it up after this on the SMA Sports Network from Learfield. Yeah! Good game. Yeah! Oh, old cotton. Good job, SFA. Next game coming up. Guys, I'm about to leave. I'm not.